Closed captioning is brought to you in part by Raven Reads. Unbox Indigenous Voices. Subscribe today at ravenreads.org. Hi, I'm Ian Boddy. I'm seeking re-election as the mayor of the city of Owen Sound. It has been an honor over the last eight years to lead council and overseeing city operations and to represent the city's interests with investors, provincial leaders, and local community leaders. When I started as mayor, the city was issuing few building permits for new homes. Our population was shrinking and our commercial and industrial rates, tax rates were too high to attract new jobs. We now have positioned our community for appropriate growth by making the right connections and fostering the right relationships. We've made investments towards economic growth and invested in infrastructure in order to have development-ready lands. We've worked with local industry, small business, and local entrepreneurs to leverage success, secure jobs, and repurpose space and support the new economy. We will ensure our community remains our home by fostering a sense of place, lifestyle, and celebrate the culture of Owen Sound. We've built parks, revitalized facilities and trails to ensure city exceeds resident and visitor expectations. We support local arts, culture, and events. We are proud of where we live and ready to invite others to join us. We'll continue to seek public and private partnerships and build relationships with stakeholders, including our neighboring municipalities. We started to tell our story outside of the region and we're attracting world-class employers. We've updated our strategic plan, did our very first citizen satisfaction survey, and implemented a community, community engagement tool. There is power in partnerships and collaboration. We're working across boundaries with Gray County on climate change and affordable housing initiatives. We recognize that there's more work that needs to be done. We will continue to explore cost-saving opportunities and find financial efficiencies for our taxpayers. We've leveraged grants, found efficiencies in the operations of our city, and will continue to explore costing options. As our residents face increased inflation and interest rates, we will make informed decisions on how best to spend taxpayers' money. While we've attracted new housing, commercial and industrial investment, we have opportunities to attract more jobs but we're not done yet. So I ask for your vote to allow me to continue the progress we've started. Please re-elect me, Ian Boddy, as the mayor of the city of Owen Sound. Thank you. Hello, I'm Richard Thomas, and I'd like to be your next mayor. A city council that works well together benefits everyone. As mayor, I'll work collaboratively with council to reduce the discord and mixed messaging that we've seen over the past four years. Aside from that, what do I plan to achieve? Well, I'm going to focus on our high property taxes. We've had limited success with ongoing attempts to cut services and encourage growth. It's time for a new approach. Once elected, I will strike the mayor's task force on property tax. Nothing will be left off the table in a wide-ranging review looking at service agreements with both our neighbors and Gray County, service fees, possible annexation or amalgamation, and redefining the municipal relationship with the province of Ontario. Good communications make for good relationships. As your mayor, I will improve the relationship between you and City Hall. I often hear people refer to the city this and the city that, but here's the thing. We are the city, you and I. I am your voice at the City Hall, and I take that responsibility seriously. I'm accountable to you and commit to improve the frequency and clarity of communications. Two key issues are housing and homelessness and mental health and addictions. Both are complex and often intertwined issues with no easy answers. Housing is a county responsibility and Gray spends more than $24 million a year, much of it in Owen Sound. A new 12-bed supportive housing unit will provide shelter and essential life skills training to those who need it the most. There are a few things we can do locally to address this ongoing issue. I propose a new development charge holiday on purpose-built attainable rental units. Further, I want to see changes to our community improvement plan, zoning and official plans to support the creation of more affordable housing. 
A lot of work has been done locally on mental health and addiction with more to come. Every second week, the SOS Clinic runs out of the farmer's market providing medical care, counseling and food. As mayor, I will more forcefully advocate for increased provincial funding for mental health and addiction services to support the work of CMHA and our other partners. We've made important changes toward climate change adaptation. Our fleet is going green. There are two large solar installations in the city and all of our street lights have been converted to efficient LED lighting. Our new wastewater treatment plant has improved the quality of water being discharged into Georgian Bay. Looking ahead, I remain committed to seeing source separated organics as a part of our new waste management plan. Three minutes isn't enough time to explain all of my goals for the city. For more detail, visit thomasformayor.ca or contact me directly. Having studied and written about the history of Owen Sound, I know we have a rem remarkable past. Together, we can preserve what we have and build a bright, inclusive and prosperous future. When you cast your ballot in October, choose Richard Thomas for mayor. Thank you. Hello, I am Scott Gregg, candidate for deputy mayor. I am married 22 years to Tracy, have two children currently attending post-secondary school and own a business downtown called Runner's Den, which proudly received the Chamber of Commerce New Business of the Year Award in 2007. I am currently serving as the chair of the operations committee chair of the Corporate Services Committee and was acclaimed for a second year as the chair of the Grace Sauble Conservation Authority Board of Directors. During my time on council, residents recognized me as a determined, well-prepared and hard-working representative. I advocate for council to have the best information to inform our decision-making. I am acknowledged by the public as a councillor who will speak out, offering alternatives or insights perhaps not considered and applying a business-like perspective. Owen Sound requires sustainable growth to protect residents from tax increases. The growth is also needed to take advantage of the water and wastewater system capacity. While decreasing water consumption is good, over 10 years a decrease of 20% in the amount of water billed has residents facing an extremely high financial burden when combining tax and water billing costs. I advocate for in initiatives which can support your household finances. I believe that not only is public transit fundamental to the functioning of our community, it also provides opportunity to save money alongside an environmental positive action. I support infrastructure improvements which enhance the comfort and quality of bus transportation, lessen wear and tear on your automobiles and expand cycling opportunities. I support in the next term of council completing the large reconstruction project of Alpha Street in two years opposed to three because it will lower project costs reduce inconvenience to local residents and create less strain on 10th Street and other detour routes. I will also advocate to reallocate government grants from the downtown First Avenue West cosmetic upgrades to fund it. Owen Sound needs to learn to fund first what we need, not to use grants on wish list projects and then subsequently and unnecessarily tax residents for the needed work. I demonstrated this by advising council to budget for only the necessary art gallery expansion as opposed to $40 million that is not viable. Inflated numbers like this get incorporated into multi-year budgets, inflate asset management values, and inflate the calculation of development fees. When we talk about housing costs, this is important due to so much cost being attributable to government fees. I will work to lower the cost of needed new housing. It has been a privilege to have been awarded the opportunity to have worked for you the last eight years. Thank you to Rogers for allowing me to introduce myself to you as I ask for your support this year. Scott Gregg will work hard to move Owen Sound forward and I ask for your vote for Deputy Mayor. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Brian O'Leary, your Deputy Mayor for the City of Owen Sound. The role of Deputy Mayor is important for residents of Owen Sound as I, along with the Mayor, have the honor of representing the City at the Gray County Council table. It's a role I have worked tirelessly to serve in and one that I take great pride in carrying out. In the last year alone, I have served on 11 committees, lobbying for and achieving advancement of important issues. Why would I sit on 11 committees? That's where the decisions are made. And not only do I have the time, I have the work ethic to take on such a big role. As a member of the Affordable Housing Task Force, I made a motion at County Council a motion that was passed to dedicate 1% of the Gray County tax levy to affordable housing. This resulted in an additional $632,000 for affordable housing programs and is a number that will continue to grow year after year. 
As deputy mayor, I vow to make sure that Old Sound continues to be a beneficiary of affordable housing funds from Gray County. For the first time in its history, the city of Old Sound received more than $30 million in housing funds during my term as deputy mayor and county councilor. Four years ago, I heard from constituents that our young people were leaving. There were no opportunities to remain in Old Sound. We lobbied MPP Bill Walker and the Conservative government to allow expanded programming at our college. We now have a four-year nursing program at Georgian College right here in Owen Sound. At the county, I have supported the conversion of the former Sydenham Public School into the Gray County Sydenham campus, supporting innovation, entrepreneurship, and skilled trades. Our youth can learn and develop the skills they need right here in Owen Sound. As a dedicated member of the Long-Term Care Committee and the Long-Term Care Redevelopment Committee, we had the opportunity to lobby the provincial government for more long-term care beds. And I'm extremely proud of the new state-of-the-art long-term care development on 16th Avenue East in Owen Sound. Southbridge has 160 beds, another facility that provides for our loved ones to reside right here in Owen Sound. I am proud of what the city of Owen Sound and Gray County have accomplished together over my term as deputy mayor, but the work isn't done. My ability to build relationships contribute to the collaboration between the county and city, and I will continue to work with my fellow councillors on behalf of the city taxpayer. I vow to continue to do my part to make Owen Sound a great place to live and do business. Through continued support of the River District revitalization, accessible community events and recreation opportunities, parks and open spaces for all residents, and continuing the great momentum we currently have in residential development by supporting housing of all types for all people. I am results driven. I will work towards ending homelessness and continue to advocate for mental health and addictions. On October 24th, please vote Brian O'Leary, the responsible choice for Deputy Mayor. Hi, my name is Sunit Kukreja and I have been living in Owen Sound from the past seven years. Uh, I was born and raised in India and then immigrated to Canada in the year 2015. And I landed directly in Owen Sound in March 2015. And ever since then, I've called Owen Sound my home. I have my educational background in uh, molecular biology and biochemistry, and I also have a degree in teaching. Based on my educational experiences, I have been employed with Georgian College as an uh, instructor and I also work as a program coordinator at the Grey Bruce Language and Settlement Services. Both these jobs have enabled me to help and support people. These are the two passions that I strongly believe with. I love helping people, I love being with people and I love being to, of some use to help the community. My main motive of uh, being a part of the councillor elections is that I want to give back to this amazing community. So some of the main priorities that I have are, number one, housing and childcare. So these are, again, some of the challenges that have already existed in our community since ages. I will try my level best to support any endeavor needed from my end to support these two crucial uh, concerns. My second most priority would be healthcare system. We do have the lack of doctors here in our community, and as it is a retiring community, as well as there is a need for today. So one of my more main goals and focuses would be to uh, advocate for the need of physicians in this area to support our community and healthcare in a better way. Third, but not the least, one of my goals would be to make Owen Sound a welcoming community so that we can encourage more and more people to come to this amazing town and contribute in employment, contribute with their skill set, and make this amazing community their home. Thank you. I'm Melanie Middlebro, and I'm running for Owen Sound Municipal Council. I've owned businesses in Owen Sound since 2006. I was a practicing chiropractor in the city for 14 years and am now the proud owner of the Rocking Horse Toy Store in downtown Owen Sound. I'm also the mother of three growing boys and as both a mother and a business owner, 
I have a vested interest in seeing Owen Sound grow to meet its full potential. Owen Sound has been stagnant for years. The population growth hasn't been there, and there's reasons for that. And I see the role of Owen Sound Council as being to create the conditions that attract growth, that attract business, that make people want to move here. I would like to have a seat at the table. I am a naturally collaborative person. I have experience in politics at the federal and provincial level locally. And I feel like I have a good idea on how we can spur innovation and growth in this city. So I'm asking for your vote this October to have a seat at the table. My name is Melanie Middlebrough, and I'm again running for Owen Sound Council. Thank you for your consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Travis Dodd, and I'm seeking re-election as City Councillor for the City of Owen Sound. I've been given the honour to represent the residents of Owen Sound for the past eight years, and I feel I have more work to do for my community. During my past term on Council, I had the privilege to chair the Community Services Committee, Corporate Services Committee, as well as the Community Development, Tourism and Culture Committee. In my personal life, I'm a wealth advisor for a local investment firm, the president-elect with the Qantas Club of Owen Sound, and one of the co-organizers for the Young Professionals Network hosted through Gray County, and a past in-school student mentor with Big Brothers Big Sisters of Owen Sound. So, why am I running for City Council? I am running for City Council because I believe in this community. I believe in a safe, healthy, and inclusive city. I believe that we need to continue to build relationships and leverage funding programs for affordable housing, while taking a close look at our own policies to see how we can change. By having shovel-ready projects or buildings ready for repurposing, the city will be positioned to work with others and build the housing we all deserve. I believe in the opportunities that are here in Owen Sound. We have seen the success of development within our region over the past four years, but there's still more to accomplish. I believe we need to focus on sustainable growth, which means being ready for what we can handle and for what we want. Building or repurposing residential and commercial buildings will increase our tax base, meaning more money in the budget for things that matter to you. I believe in local businesses. I believe in celebrating our story, a story that promotes economic growth and retention for both our residents and businesses. I see greater opportunities for our next generations. I believe in working with our municipal neighbors and other groups to find new and more efficient ways of delivering our services to help the city find cost savings when it makes sense. Over the past eight years, I've worked hard as your representative to maintain a common sense approach when dealing with issues. I believe I bring the experience, dedication, and leadership skills that will continue to move our city forward. Our future is important to all of us. Let's work together to make it even better. We have a lot of work ahead of us, and I'm asking for your support on October 24th. Please vote Travis Dodd for the City Owned Sound Councillor. Thank you so much. Hi there. My name is Brock Hamley, and I'm running for re-election as a city councillor. When I first ran in 2018, I spoke with thousands of people across Owen Sound, asking them what they felt some of our biggest challenges were as a community. People told me that our roads and bridges needed work, that we needed to use our money better, and we needed to get more homes built. These were conversations that I took to heart and worked every day to deliver over the last four years. Despite a challenging pandemic, we were able to build the new 10th Street Bridge ahead of schedule. We sold the airport to a successful operator who has the expertise to make it work better, saving taxpayers a quarter of a million dollars every year. And in the last four years, we built more than 440 new residential units, the highest number of new homes constructed in the last two decades, with another 2,000 in the construction or approval phase. People had good ideas, and I listened. When I first ran in 2018, it was important to me to make, those, make sure those ideas were getting the attention they needed to become reality. And it's why I'm out knocking on doors again, speaking with residents in our community, and listening to what they'd like to see from the next council. Here's what I'm hearing from you. A green bin program is long overdue. If re-elected, I'll work with council to get one started. Less organic waste in your garbage bags is better for the environment and means you can purchase fewer bag tags, putting real money back in your pocket. I've heard fixing our roads is a priority. 
I will increase our road resurfacing budget, allowing us to repave roughly three kilometers of roads every year, almost double what we are repairing now. Lastly, I hear that we need to support local businesses by investing in our downtown. The county currently provides a grant of $90,000 for storefront revitalization, but the city needs to put skin in the game too. We should match these funds dollar for dollar. It will help business owners get up and running and it will help make our downtown a destination of choice for residents and visitors alike. I believe the most important thing an elected official can do is listen to the people they serve, put their ideas into action, and deliver real results. That's exactly what I've done in my first term, and it's something I'll continue to do if I earn your support again in October. Vote for me, Brock Hamley, for Owen Sound City Council on October 24th. Thank you. Hello. I'm Carol Merton, and I'm running for councillor in Owen Sound. I'm running for councillor because I want to continue to serve you and represent our community. I want to be part of the decision making that affects our everyday lives. I want to encourage and support diversity and inclusivity in our city so we can thrive now and for future generations. So what do I want to see in Owen Sound? I want to see a safe, welcoming, healthy city. A city where we can live and prosper and where our children can grow healthy and happy and our seniors can age in place. Owen Sound needs affordable, adequate, available and appropriate housing based on income, not just on market value. I believe a local housing advisory group would provide the information, perspectives to our City Council regarding our community housing issues. Let's be open to innovative ideas regarding housing, including things like social innovation, finance models, community bonds, land trust, land leases, co-op housing, philanthropic land and property donations, and so much more. The vitality of our city depends on everyone being encouraged to participate and to have a voice. A youth advisory council could provide that input and the youth perspective. Youth are an important part of our city and are critical for our sustainability now and into the future. Their voices need to be heard. I believe that we can reduce the climate impact changes by strengthening our efforts in real tangible ways and by strengthening local leadership. Let's move beyond words, plant the trees in the infrastructure. What skills do I offer? I've sat at the council table. I have sat on boards and community advisory groups regarding housing regarding initiatives relating to community safety and well-being. I care for this city and I want to continue to help our city thrive and flourish. Please consider me when you vote and vote Carol Merton, Councillor Owen Sound. Thank you so much. Good evening. My name is Alan Douglas or commonly known as Al. I am a retired City of Owen Sound firefighter and prior to that I was a paramedic in Toronto for 20 years. I have decided to run for Owen Sound City Council this year as I'm retired and have the time to commit to the job. I am a father of a intelligent beautiful young daughter who is an assistant crown attorney in Barrie and uh, I've lived in Owen Sound now for 22 years and have seen a drastic change from the time I moved here to present. I would like to see some work being done on the homelessness, the issue with street drugs, mental health issues. Now I'm sure many of my my competition have the same wishes. It's how we're going to go about it. I believe in partnering with upper tier municipalities, provincial government, and trying to establish something that is viable and at the best bang for the buck for the city of Owen Sound. 
I am very concerned about seeing people leaving Owen Sound to find themselves employed in other centers. The days of heavy industry have come and gone, unfortunately, but there are many other options that we could look at. I would also like to see the city spend more money in local economy than going elsewhere for things such as finding a name, a slogan for the city of Owen Sound or getting traffic studies done. Do we not have people working for the city of Owen Sound that could probably take that task on at a greatly reduced price? I'm running under the mo motto of common sense, not nonsense. This is not a reference to the common sense revolution. I would consider myself to be a centrist with strong opinions on certain issues on both the left and right. So, if you would like to contact me, you can reach me at voteforal38 at gmail.com. I have a Facebook group called Vote for Al, if you'd like to join it, where I will be discussing my platforms and answering questions as best I can. Right now, I'm on the learning curve of trying to figure out budgets and, uh, and a lot more of the city. Working for the city, I at least know how it runs. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video this evening. And Hi, I'm John Farmer, and I'm running for city council because I love Owen Sound. It's where I was born and raised, where at least five generations of my family have made their lives, and it's where I chose to come back to, to live, work, play, and raise a family. There's lots to love about Owen Sound, but in 2022, our city is also facing many challenges, including housing scarcity, an affordability crisis, infrastructure deficits, fiscal constraints, a drug poisoning epidemic, and the climate crisis. City Hall and municipal government can't solve all of these problems single-handedly, but it's essential that City Council are active partners in identifying those challenges and working to find solutions. The greatest possible solutions are going to benefit the greatest number of people. Yes, our complex, our challenges are complex, but it's possible to find solutions so that everyone can live with dignity and equity in Owen Sound, regardless of their age, ability, or income. City Council can help define those solutions by collaborating with other levels of government, by increasing opportunities for citizen engagement, by actively inviting community agencies, individuals, and organizations to the table, and by learning from what has worked in other communities. City Hall does have tools to support a more attainable housing market, to increase community safety and well-being, and to make sure that we're using every resource and opportunity at our disposal to meet the community's needs. Those tools are there, but it's up to City Council to make sure that they are using them and to assess all of our decisions through the triple lens of fiscal responsibility, social impact, and environmental sustainability. If we're going to meet the challenges that are facing Owen Sound, then we need a city council that's willing to collaborate, ask the right questions, listen to community partners, learn from what has worked in other communities, and that's going to make sure that they know that every decision they make today is going to impact our community for generations to come. I'm running for city council because I want to be one of the people working on solutions to our challenges and because I have skills to bring to the table. My professional background is in community coordination as the former coordinator of violence prevention Gray Bruce and the current supervisor of the men's program at CMHA. I've also worked as a freelance writer and facilitator. As a volunteer, I've been involved with arts organizations like Summer Folk and Sheater, as well as sports organizations including the Owen Sound Rose Lawn Bowling Club. I know what it takes to mobilize community around a common goal, but I need your help to bring these skills and perspectives to the table. That's why I'm asking for your vote in this municipal election. Visit electjohnfarmer.com to find out more about who I am and why I'm running. And please make sure that all of your friends and family in Owen Sound know that they can vote between October 14th and 24th. It's essential that everyone's voice is heard at the ballot box in this election. Thanks. I am Megan Robertson. I am running for election as a councillor for the City of Owen Sound. I'm a business owner and operator in a building construction trade. I'm a mother of two boys, a homeowner, and an active community volunteer working to help make Owen Sound a great place to live. As a business operator and a homeowner with a growing family, 
I recognize the responsibility of careful fiscal management. Like so many members of our community, I have learned how to make a dollar stretch. I recognize how important it is managing a budget and how the taxes we pay affect a homeowner. As a parent, I am concerned about my children's future. I want to ensure that their environment is protected, that they will have education and employment opportunities here at home, and that they will be able to afford their own house when the time comes. Long-term community building and planning is important now. As a woman in trades, I have learned how to work hard, manage my time to get the job done, and how to be creative when faced with challenges. I have the skills to cooperate with other workers and to be assertive when it's required. As a family, we enjoy spending time in Harrison Park, attending the farmer's market on Saturday mornings, and spending time in the River District. We like to attend Summer Folk and the Salmon Spectacular and many other great events and festivities. This city has so much to offer to families. We can all enjoy it together. Let's make it better. I've been interested in serving my community for many years. My parents taught me the responsibility of giving back to our community. I have volunteered with several different committees and clubs. One example, I speak to high school students about my experience and have participated in the Ontario Youth Apprenticeship Program that introduces women to a career in trades. I have spent the last five years volunteering on the city's Community Service Committee and the Operations Committee. I have learned how city governance works and I've gained the necessary experience to help make the best decisions for all of us. I understand the challenges of providing the services that are important and the difficult decisions that have to be made. I am ready to take the next steps to represent the citizens of Owen Sound. I love the city and I want it to be great for my children and for yours. I ask for your support to allow me to bring a fresh voice to City Council. Please vote for me, Megan Robertson, for Council in Owen Sound. Hi, my name is Jasmine Schnarr and I'm running for Owen Sound City Council. I only have three minutes here, so I hope I can quickly explain why I feel the need to run for Owen Sound City Council this fall. <clears throat> Currently, I'm technically homeless in Owen Sound. Although since April, I was thankfully saved from the streets downtown and now being housed by two very kind and generous individuals. Because of the local housing crisis and further the impact and restrictions of the pandemic over the last two years, I found myself living in a two-star motel in Owen Sound for six months, beginning in January 2021. It was my only affordable and available housing in Owen Sound at the time. I grew up in Lions Head and Terra and went to high school at OSCVI in Owen Sound. After graduating with a degree in music performance with a minor in fine arts from Wilfrid Laurier University, I moved to Montreal and enjoyed a 25 year long career performing over two decades with the Montreal Symphony Orchestra as well many other internationally recognized classical mu music organization, organizations as a violist. But several years ago, I had to return to Terra with my two sons in hopes to lessen my financial burden as a single parent and with the hope to cre recreate a new life here in my home region. Then the pandemic hit in March 2020. The live performing arts sector was especially affected and I was unable to work as a professional musician. I then found work at Staples and Tim Hortons in Owen Sound, but even working long demanding hours at minimum wage, I couldn't afford a rental for myself, let alone housing myself and my two sons. As well, last fall, I experienced a sudden health crisis and found myself unable to work for several months after. I relied on Safe and Sound during its daytime opening hours for my shelter, food, clothing, a, shel a shower, and various social service resources. And I relied on O'Share for other basic food needs. Using my own social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, I shared and documented my homelessness experiences, experiences and homeless friends in posts and photos using only my cell phone. 
I felt it was very important to bring awareness, help, destigmatize, and advocate for those with really no voice or power living on the streets of Owen Sound downtown specifically, and bring my serious concerns, as well theirs, about the lack of basic human needs such as shelter from the elements, accessible drinking water downtown, washroom facilities, and safe injection sites to start. So once I understood there was a municipal election this fall, along with my strong advocacy over many months for the homeless and spending my entire summer playing my electric violin downtown Owen Sound, I received a lot of local encouragement to run in this election. Owen Sound City Hall further allowed me 25 signatures of persons with no fixed address to endorse my candidacy. I believe a first in the history of this local municipal election. I thank City Hall for granting me that permission. The homeless community, now my community, and the residents of Owen Sound together, I know, want to find solutions to help fix this situation in our city. A close friend of mine, now homeless for over seven years in Owen Sound, believes there is about 300 homeless persons in Owen Sound, a city with only a population of 22,000 residents. Vote for me on October 24th, so we can together find some solutions. Together, we can do this. Hi, my name is Jeffrey Allen Caldwell and I'm running for council in the upcoming election. In the coming weeks and months, you'll see, I'm starting over, <clears throat> okay, five, four, three, two, one. Hi, my name is Jeffrey Allen Caldwell and I'm running for council. In the coming two months, you'll hear from current council members asking you to vote for them again. But before you do, consider this, when compared to other cities, we pay incredibly high taxes. We face yearly tax increases above average. We have the lowest population growth. We pay more for recreation services by 100% than any other community. We pay more for garbage by 100% than any other community. We pay higher water rates, and we pay the second most per capita for police and fire. Yet we have the second lowest average income. This is not sustainable. Yet, in the face of these facts, City Council continues to give wealthy developers a free pass in the form of development charge holidays, vacant property tax breaks, and grants. More than $3.5 million in development charge breaks have been given out so far. How much exactly? I can't say, because Council won't tell us that until after the election. In the meantime, regular taxpayers like you and I are left holding the bag, subsidizing developers' investment properties with your tax dollars. This means that services need to cost more or be cut, capital projects go unfunded, and affordability goes down for everyone. How can we hope to tackle problems like homelessness, addiction, poverty, and food insecurity when the best solution council can come up with is to transfer your tax dollars to the already wealthy? This is trickle-up economics, and it isn't working. Owen Sound is a beautiful, quiet, safe city, a great place to retire and raise your kids. I'm raising my kids here. But we deserve better. You deserve better. So this October, vote for change, because change is what we need. Hi, I'm Michelle Tompkins, and I'm running for Owen Sound City Elections 2022. Personally, as a single mom, I've gone through some of the hardships fellow citizens have gone through, whether it be the housing crisis, I work two jobs, as well as being on ODSP to sustain my house for me and my child. Um, the drug issues, I've had numerous friends lost to that issue. Um, so for me, I would, I'm running for city council because my family has been here generations. I love this community. This place is my home. I see utmost potential within it, and I would love to be a part of the changes that need to be made to make this community the community it has the potential of being. If you feel, this, feel the same as I do, please vote October 24th, 2022. Hello, my name is Marion Kepke and I'm seeking your support to serve a third term as councillor for the City of Owen Sound. I bring a wealth of knowledge and experience to the position of councillor, having worked as deputy clerk and clerk for Owen Sound for 26 years, then serving two terms on council from 2014 to present. I've been fortunate to have participated on most city boards and committees and also enjoy volunteering with various community organizations. Being on council is a job that requires passion, hard work and dedication, 
as well as an awareness of local needs, issues, and concerns of our citizens. My experience has taught me that the public want answers to why things are being done the way they are, and I will continue these efforts as a counselor to keep on asking the questions. Here are a few achievements over the past terms of council I am most proud of. Continued revitalization of our downtown area, now known as the River District. Increased residential housing development, which equates to an increase in our tax base. Continuation and improvements to our much needed transit system. Forward thinking strategies and plans for the city's growth potential and sustainability. Capital funding dedication to infrastructure improvements and road resurfacing. Listening and responding to the needs of the citizens in an effort to make advancements where necessary. Building a diverse, inclusive, and safe community. Continued improvements to our water and wastewater treatment facilities. Enhancements to our parks and public buildings in support of tourism opportunities. Searching for a better solution and benefits regarding the collection of recycling and source-separated organics partnerships with the County of Grey in the areas of climate adaptation and mitigation, affordable housing, homelessness, and community health issues while focusing on matters related to Owen Sound. Continued efforts to seek out partnerships and granting opportunities with all levels of government for the delivery and improvement of municipal services. My commitment to you is helping to make Owen Sound the best place it can be. We need to focus on the things that matter most in Owen Sound and continue to make it a place where you want to live. I like to take a common sense approach to issues before Council, knowing I am also a taxpayer. I will continue to do my best to ensure Council is fiscally responsible while facilitating sustainable growth to meet our needs. Between October 14 and 24, I encourage you to vote experience, commitment, dedication and a voice of reason. Vote Marion Kepke for Owen Sound Councillor. Thank you. Hello, I'm Michael Craig. I'm running for public school trustee on the Blue Water District School Board in Owen Sound. I believe I have the vision, experience, and qualifications to effectively represent the needs and perspectives of local parents of school aged children and all the other citizens of Owen Sound on the Board of Education. It would be fair to say that I have liberal values. I support an inclusive school system that is free of racism, homophobia, and prejudice against newcomers. A school system that has a place and program for high achievers, as well as children who struggle academically. While I am determined that every child should graduate with high verbal and written literacy, as well as competence in mathematics and science, I will push to make sure music, theater, and visual arts are not neglected. I will fight for the arts, physical education, and civics. Kids should know how their governments work. The fact is that curriculum at every level is written and delivered by the Ministry of Education. The school board's role is to administer the ministry's guidelines in a way that is sensitive to the needs of students in Grey Bruce and Owen Sound. Trustees are, above all, advocates for their local schools, speaking up about issues as diverse as the needs for an additional educational assistant or mold in a classroom. And they advocate as well for parents who need help accessing the system to get attention for their child's special needs. They are often an intermediary between the principal, administrators, and health professionals. I have been actively involved with schools for decades as a parent of two and grandparent of four, as chair of home and school and residence associations, as a former trustee on the Toronto Board of Education, I moved to Owen Sound in 2014, and as a public speaker on human rights on behalf of Amnesty International in at least 100 schools. Finally, as a director of videos for teacher unions in dozens of schools across Ontario. I own my own video production company until just a few years ago. Now retired, I have the time and energy to vote to Owen Sound kids in schools. All I need is your vote anytime 
between October 14 and 24. Please vote for me, but above all, please vote. It's the only way we can get the governments we deserve. Thank you for your support. My name is Barry Foles. I am a candidate for school trustee for Owen Sound for the Blue Water District School Board. I am a, long, a lifelong resident of Owen Sound. Owen Sound has become a more diversified community and this is important to our schools. This means our schools need to reflect this diversity. They need to honor this diversity and they need to practice it. And I think that's something for the future that's going to be vital. Technology must continue to be a top goal for our students and our schools. Students must have available the latest and best so they can be ready for the great wide world. Technology is moving fast. We also need people who understand that we are basically a rural community that has an important farm economy. Sometimes plans made in Toronto for Toronto do not work so well here. I'm seeking your vote in October. Please remember you vote by internet or by telephone. And please remember to vote. This is your chance to shape your local democracy. It's important. I believe in Catholic education. Hi, my name is Bruce Muse. I am a Bruce Gray Catholic District School Board trustee candidate. For 12 years, I was a member of the Board of Trustees and served as chairman and vice chair at two different Catholic school boards in Northern Ontario. My family and I moved to Owen Sound two decades ago after accepting a position with the city of Owen Sound. Husband to Janice, I am a proud father of three adult children and six grandchildren who have all attended Catholic schools. As to my work, I have enjoyed an extensive career in the environmental field, having worked in management positions before retiring from a division of the former Henderson Patton consulting engineering firm. As to my volunteer work, I value my involvement in community service, supporting the local mental health unit, Special Olympics, and Families for Autism through the Knights of Columbus Radio Bingo. I am a former Knights of Columbus Grand Knight and District Deputy. I'm also an active member of St. Mary's Church Community as a member of the Cemetery Board, and I assist with Catholic Charities. I am humbled to have this amazing opportunity to carry on the legacy of former Chairman Norm Bethune, who served our separate board so well for many years. Why do I want to run as a trustee? Well, I firmly believe in working with the Catholic community in a collaborative manner to ensure our students are provided with the greatest opportunities to practice their faith and to realize their individual potential. Addressing the capacity issues at all our schools in Owen Sound is important to me. St. Mary's High School is building a new school in the near future, and I would like to be part of that process. I am looking forward to meeting our Catholic great pairs to learn about your thoughts and insights, your vision of Catholic education in the future, and to me to share mine with you. For strong leadership, vote Bruce Muse for Catholic trustee on October the 24th. Thank you, and God bless. Valeria Caruso, I am uh, the candidate for the Conseil Scolaire Viamont School Board Trustee. Uh, I am particularly interested in the integration of culture in pedagogy and curriculum. Uh, the reason why I am interested in that is that I think that uh, bilingualism contributes to the vitality of uh, French language uh, schools and also community. Uh, the community, uh, Frank, the Francophone community, uh, is also enriched by uh, diverse learners 
And uh, this is why we invite uh, uh, Francophones from all origins to contribute to the Francophone community and to the French uh, vitality in French language schools. Uh, if I become a successful you know, school board trustee, I would like to tackle three uh, issues. First of all, I would like to reduce the gaps uh, between students. I mean, all students, including special needs students. Uh, second of all, I would like to um, provide equity and inclusion strategies in order to provide students with uh, uh, pathways that will ensure their success at school, uh, elementary, secondary, and also in the uh, workplace. I would like to uh, give ac access to students to new technologies. I would like to provide them with tutoring services um, in school and after school uh, offered free of charge to students. And also would like to provide mental health services for staff and also students uh, in uh, increasing uh, uh, social uh, workers, uh, in-school social workers. All of this I would like to do to uh, promote student success and also um, vitality of the Francophone community in the region of Simcoe and surroundings. Bonjour, I'm Eric Lapointe, and ah, sorry about that. Five, four, three, two, one. Bonjour, I am Eric Lapointe, and I would be honored to be re-elected as trustee of Bruce Dufferin Gray and Simcoe. I wish to continue to be a strong voice for the French public education in Ontario. I am married father of two boys and work as a firefighter for the baseboard and fire department. The continued success of our Franco-Ontarian community is what motivates me. My focus is all children of Viamont. I am passionate about inclusivity, health, mental well-being, and open communication. Anti-bullying must remain a priority in our schools. I will continue to promote awareness to strengthen our system and create achievable goals within our board. I'm committed to hard work and will carry on ensuring effective use of the budget and good communication between parents and staff. I thank you for your time and ask you for your support on October 24th 2022. Merci beaucoup. Hi there, bonjour. Je me nomme Sylvie Barbeau-Schmaleski, uh, and I'm running for school board trustee for CSA Providence, French Catholic school system. I have been in the education system for years. I taught for 30 years, retired in 2018, and immediately put my name in uh, to run for school board trustee at that time. So I have been the school board trustee for Sarnia, uh, Lambton for four years now. I have been part of the Special Education Committee, the Governance Committee, the Catholicism and Education Committee, um, and uh, also obviously the, the monthly meetings with uh, our board. It has been an incredible experience. Um, COVID has definitely taken, um, given us a little bit of a challenge with uh, Zoom meetings, team meetings, uh, and it's it's been difficult for our students. I've had two kids graduate through this uh, whole pandemic, and online learning has been a challenge which I have seen evolve um, drastically and amazingly through our board. Our teachers are outstanding. They are doing an excellent job keeping our kids um, well informed and educated. I am very impressed and I wanna continue um, working through with this board. Um, I speak French, so le français est ma langue première. J'ai été élevée à Sudbury, mes parents sont les deux francophones. Je suis allée à l'école élémentaire, secondaire et universitaire en français. Et uh, mon certificat d'enseignement est en français. So I have been, I was raised in Sudbury. My first language is French. I was went to elementary, secondary and university. Um, in French. My teacher's diploma is in French as well. Um, Christianity, Catholicism is very important to me. I think that I really believe that Christ should be everywhere and our kids need to know more than just mom and dad who believe in Christ, who believe in God. 
and who believe that he is there day in and day out to guide us. So our Catholic school system uh, works hard at that. I know that St. Francois Xavier and St. Thomas work hard, and I'm sure that St. Dominique Xavier do, does the same to ensure that the kids know who Christ is. Um, the next, uh, the next little while is going to be a little bit challenging with mental health because the kids have been dealing with a lot for the last few years. So I really believe our school board should start should work a lot on having support for our kids, for the mental health. And I know that that's what CSC Providence is going to do. I'm looking forward to four more years. So don't forget my name, Sylvie Barbeau-Schmoleski. Put an X next to there, and I will work hard for you. Thank you. Have a good day. Bonne journée. Bonjour, je m'appelle Dr. Megan Real. Je suis une mère, une éducatrice et une chercheuse. Présentement, je suis coordinatrice des partenariats de recherche avec Réseau APAC Recherche Canada et le Centre des compétences futures à l'Université York. J'ai également une vaste expérience de bénévolat et de gouvernance auprès d'organismes à but non lucratif. Je suis vice-président du conseil d'administration de Sonia Lambden Rebound, un organisme accrédité à l'échelle nationale responsable de programmes inclusifs axés sur les jeunes pour soutenir le développement réussi des jeunes partout en Ontario. En tant que conseillère représentant notre conseil scolaire, je défendrai la principale priorité stratégique, notamment les services de soutien aux élèves, la responsabilité financière et la contribution des parents, tuteurs, tutrices afin de maximiser la réussite des élèves. Je vais écouter, rechercher et utiliser mes compétences en communication pour donner une voix aux étudiants aux éducateurs, éducatrices et aux communautés catholiques francophones des comtés de Sarnia Lambton, Bruce, Gray, Huron et Perth. Grâce à ces, ces priorités, le Conseil scolaire catholique Providence favorisera avec succès le développement de l'éducation catholique de la langue française dans toutes les collectivités et partout en Ontario. En savoir plus sur meganreal.com. Bonjour, my name is Dr. Megan Rail. I'm a mother, college educator, and researcher. Currently, I'm a research partnership coordinator with Research Impact Canada and the Future Skills Centre at York University. I also have extensive volunteer and governance experience with nonprofit organizations. I am the vice president of the board of directors for Sarnia Lamp and Rebound, a nationally accredited organization responsible for inclusive youth driven programming to support and empower the successful development of youth across Ontario. As your representative trustee at our school board, I will advocate for key strategic priorities, including student support services, fiscal responsibility, and parental and stakeholder input to maximize students' achievement. I will listen, research, and use my communication skills to provide a voice to support students, faculty, and French Catholic communities from Sarnia Lambton, Bruce, Gray, Huron, and Perth counties. Through these priorities, Le Conseil Scolaire Catholique Providence will successfully promote the development of French language, Catholic education throughout our communities and across Ontario. To learn more, go to meganreal.com. Rogers TV viewer response line. Email us or connect with us on social media. Sports fans know Sundays are for football. That's why you need NFL Sunday tickets. 
With NFL Sunday Ticket, you'll get every live game, every Sunday afternoon, all season long. Follow your favorite teams and players live in HD. Order NFL Sunday Ticket and get up to 200 regular season games. Call your local service provider today.